Hey there, this is Evan Wong, the co-founder and CEO of Checkbox, a no-code legal automation platform. And the contracting horror story that I wanna share with you today is of one of our customers' uh, contracts. It is the MSA, the Master Services Agreement. Uh, for them, it was 50 pages long. It's a big document that tackles all sorts of different modules from software to professional services to hardware and much more. And the way it would work is that procurement would request this document from legal and often they end up providing incomplete information because there is quite a lot to provide. There's, you know, if it's hardware, it's like, what is the delivery date of the hardware? If it's software, you know, what is the SLAs, the information security clauses? And so it was quite a tricky document to get right. Now, legal tried to help procurement out by creating a second document, a document that sort of provided a set of rules that allowed them to work out how they should change and tailor the sort of precedent document of the MSA. Now, this was obviously a little bit of a challenging situation because now procurement not only had to interpret the MSA document, but they now had a second document, the rules document that they had to interpret as well in order to even know how to apply the MSA. So that was not fun. We created extra work for the business uh, stakeholders. And on top of that, if we ended up getting it wrong, if procurement ends up applying those rules incorrectly, the supplier might end up with a very confusing document where certain clauses may not even be relevant. You know, like for example, if you included hardware clauses for a software provider, um, that would not make any sense. And that often would require a lot of back and forth between the supplier and procurement. Uh, that doesn't leave too good of an experience for the supplier, but also wastes a lot of time for the procurement team. And on top of that, for the legal team, there was an issue of having to do a ridiculous amount of review on MSAs that would come through, just because, again, you have different lawyers specializing in different modules. You know, you have your lawyer that uh, understands, you know, hardware a lot better than software and uh, that would be quite tedious and especially trying to make sure that the underlying precedent MSA was correctly filled in and, and tailored by the procurement team who obviously aren't the actual custodians of that document. And finally, the challenge is uh, uh, whether the MSAs were even stored correctly. A lot of these would end up in uh, on just people's desktops and the legal team would never see that ever again and not have the visibility over it. So, of course, then they met Checkbox, uh, uh, but that chapter of the story is probably for another time. Happy Halloween!